Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, do have a little surprise here. You may be thinking, it's like, oh yeah, it's like, uh, you know, what are we looking at here? Is, you know, most of my videos on, uh, you know, most of my videos on uh, my YouTube channel are, um, you know, Call of Duty related videos. Probably my audience, um, for the majority of probably my audience, um, you may, may not have any idea what StarCraft is. But I'm going to, uh, that's great if you're new to the channel. Um, I actually will be posting a few, a few more StarCraft videos. I have been getting, um, I would say, back into it. Um, I don't know, I mean, yeah, there was a while, there was a while there where I was playing and, I, you know, I was actually playing a lot. And I mean, not, not really a lot, but. Uh, I just lost interest really. I mean, I got really involved in Black Ops, and um, you know, if I would say if my StarCraft skill was, if I put the time I put into Black Ops to get better, uh, not that I was ever bad, but if I put the time into Black Ops to get where I am now and to where I was in StarCraft to where I, you know, would be if I didn't play Black Ops. Um, you never know. I'm not saying I would be, you know, pro or anything like that. And that's also, I do want to say that real quick. Um, you know, before anybody's like, all right, you, you know, here's what you're doing wrong. And, you know, uh, trying to get me to pay them, you know, 300 bucks an hour for lessons or whatever some of those pros do. Um, no, I, I am not, I, you know, I don't consider myself to be good. I post the videos for pretty much my entertainment only it's fun always going back to watch them um, and commentate on them that's always fun and that's why I have a YouTube channel so um, you know criticize the gameplay all you want I mean that's your right but it doesn't it's not gonna affect me too <laughs> you know what I mean I know um, I know I'm not that great I'm a gold I'm in, in one first one I actually I was gonna say gold but I actually just got moved up to uh, platinum, and that's like still the. Uh, psh, I don't even know. It's like the. It used to be like the second highest, or yeah, I think it was like the second highest league, and now it's like the fourth highest or something. So, I think the uh, you know the master grandmaster whatever, um, and the diamond players, they moved up. So that left some spaces for me and then they just put me there so I think it's just high gold still um, but you know in one first one I haven't really been having too much luck lately and you'll see here actually um, this is actually the other player I don't know why I'm focusing on majority of my time on this guy probably because he probably deserved to win the game but <laughs> uh, we'll get to that later the anyways the thing that I don't know I mean I haven't really picked a race. I know the League 3 is starting, uh, Season 3 or whatnot is starting here, uh, I think July 26th, and I've been working on a lot of 2-for-2 uh, two two strategies where I will have another gameplay up with that, but I, I've been working a lot of 2-for-2 two two instead of 1-for-1, one one, but I think I'm going to be in a little bit more uh, both ways on uh, the Season 3. But I haven't really picked a one first one race yet. I, I don't know. I mean, it will, will be interesting to see. I actually might try and uh, use my Terran strategy I've been working on in two versus two. Try and, uh, you know, take that into one first one a little bit. Um, but, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I haven't really figured out anything that works right now in one first one. And that's why I've been going random. Um, I'm decent with all three races. Uh, I think right now... Probably my Protoss um, is the best race, but I don't know. I mean, some some days I play better Zerg, some days I play better. Uh, never, never oh, excuse me, never really Terran, <laughs> so Protoss and Zerg. But uh, I don't know. I mean, one of the things with Zerg is that if I run into a good player, he's just going to obliterate me. But if I run into a player who is the same uh, skill level as I am, I, I probably have a pretty good chance. Um, 
but you never know. I mean, that's what StarCraft is. You One mistake. And I know what I did here, um, and I've actually done that now. I think I've done that, like, something ridiculous, like, two out of the last, like, four games or something where I've uh, walled in so much where my uh, stalkers couldn't get out of the ramp. So, this guy, I, I mean, I don't really, this is, if I wish I could look at his... Uh, I think a little bit more here. Um, he is, you know, going with the warp prism and going then into the uh, the immortal. But he does use the warp prism, um, and that's gonna not really do too much damage. But I did have to get rid of a gateway there to get the wall. Um, you know, so my stalkers could, uh, you know, walk out because they're so such a larger unit. Um, <laughs> So I did, you know, I'm a little bit behind here. I know I'm behind. I know I'm probably right now, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm going to lose the game because there's no way, um, you know, there's, there's no way. But uh, this guy actually, I don't know, he's given me a little a little time, and I, uh, I don't know if I capitalize, but you'll see. I mean, the... You, oh, man, I don't know why I'm yawning. I mean, I see I have a full freaking chrono boost there. Uh, I don't know why. I just laid down my natural, which is definitely a little late in terms of uh, normal standards, but nothing I can really do about it. Um, and I am moving out here to, you know, kind of see what he has. He has an observer out, and he's going to pretty much meet me um, and really just kind of destroy me here. Um, yeah, I mean, the sentries, and I'm not really use, utilizing my sentries too well, but sentries do play a big part of the game uh, later on. So, he thankfully, he doesn't see that uh, pylon I put down there to, you know, warp in the backup, because, I, I mean, if the fight would have went my way, then, you know, that's what you need right there. I do have my uh, level 1 weapons, about that in, yeah, there we go, um... But, as you know, his, his scouting wasn't very good, so right here it's going. He's moving out, and it's pretty much we're going into a, a base race here. Um, and like what I was saying with two out of the past, you know, however many, you know, one first ones. And right there I know he's thinking, should I, what should I do? Um, but, he's, you know, he's just going to go for it. And my cannons, actually, I did set up a few cannons, as you guys saw. Uh, I wish I would have had some around my nexus here, but that's just going to fall. Um, I didn't get a chance to do anything with that. I actually, I wish I would have used that chrono boost on that nexus instead of um, my main nexus. But right here, I, my, my cannons aren't doing much. Um, but they probably do get one or two kills, which, you know, in the end might save the game for you. Uh, you can't complain about that with, uh, you know, the, the amount of units Protoss has. But he's using his sentries for the Guardian Shield. And right now, I mean, I know it's a, what you, you know, you call a base race. And I'm just trying to do, I built some photon cannons up in my main. I'm just trying to, you know, whittle down his, um, his units, because I know he's going to be able to take out my, you know, warp gates or whatnot. I'm not going to be able to get too much, too many more units in. Plus, my uh, pylon count is not very high, and I'm not going to be able to really, really do much with units. So, if I can get one or two more cannons up and get one or two more kills, that would be great. That's what that's what I'm thinking right now. But I'm also um, I'm doing a lot better in his base than he is in mine. So right now I'm also like, well, you know, how many buildings does he have? And I, I am able to see those two. I did see the two pylons, so I know I'm going to go have to go back up there sometime. And actually this is when I'm like, oh, shit, because <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I have 800 minerals. I can delay the, um, delay the inevitable loss here. But, I, you know, that's just, it's just the way it works sometimes. I... I, I did have my pylon right there, and he was kind of messing around with my probes. I wasn't able to sneak a probe out because 
like I did say, I had 800 minerals, so that's, you know, however many assimilators are on the map or, you know, anything you can do to stay alive. So right now you can see there, I do, I believe I uh, paused the game here uh, one second, actually. Um, my fraps actually split up the thing. So I actually do think I paused the game here. Yeah, here I go. Uh, so he has two immortals, ten stalkers. The war prison doesn't count, five sentries, compared to my four zealots, eleven stalkers, and three sentries. And uh, this is, and I think that's actually his only pylon, so this is actually going to play a critical role here where I do cut off, it looks like, one, two, three, about six of his stalkers, and um, as you can see there, it's, you know, your two immortals, to two immortals, two stalkers, five sentries compared to mine and um, right now I'm just playing with the sentries like at least come on I'm trying to target fire the uh, uh, you know the immortals first but you know who knows what I was really thinking um, yeah there we go and right now it's pretty much GG I, I think he gives the GG in uh, capital letters so right now but I mean I was nervous but um, he had a pretty nice uh, sentry play but I guess it all came down to that sentry uh, wall off on the uh, on my ramp there. So I did get the W there, and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I know my skill level isn't that great. Uh, what what most of you are looking at StarCraft videos on YouTube are used to seeing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know you're entertained by that. And uh, my channel, come check it out. I do have mainly Call of Duty videos, but do expect some more StarCraft videos here soon. And in the future, I'm actually uh, going to look, be looking into, uh, you know, playing um, Dota 2 when that comes out. Maybe I will also try, uh, you know, shout shoutcasting some pro matches from Dota 2 as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and uh, take care, and I will see you guys later. As always, see you guys next time.